hello guys python sub process it allows you to start a new process and interact with its standard input output and error stream so let's see how we can use this sub process in this we have something called p open to run the external applications with the interactive input standard input let's say for example this is my test script which will ask for the string and it will be appended with the hello and then we will write this into one of the text file output.txt for this we have to enter some string right so let's say for example if you are running this directly like this it will ask you to enter the input right so here let's say you enter you are entering youtube as an input so now if you see the text file it is saying like hello youtube so using sub process we will give the input and we don't need to stop to enter this input string see how we can implement this let's say for example the p equal to sub process dot p open first we should give the command which command we have to execute we wanted to execute the test dot py right and then next we wanted to give std in equal to sub process dot pipe and then we wanted to give output and then the error std error we wanted to pipe it okay. now this we will we are telling that it's a shell command shell equal to true now we can interact with it how do we interact with it it's sorry it's actually sub process so now we wanted to interact with how we can interact with this one uh, something like p dot communicate and we wanted to give the input last time as we have given here as a youtube let's say for example now we will give the input equal to hello insta and then it expects the input in terms of the byte code okay and also we can check whether it has executed successfully or not by running like p dot written code if it is not equal to zero let's debug it using the print dot output as well as the error so this error we can get it from here so it's it will return a tuple now we will unpack it using out comma error equal to this one see okay now let's execute this program okay so now it's compiled now let's check this one what is there insta since we have passed the input string as insta earlier it was youtube now you see that it is insta so this is how we can use the sub process like often we use this whenever like if you are in a linux one and you are running any command with sudo sudo apt update or like for example if you wanted to run an application with sudo it will ask for the password that password we can pass it or else when you are running a command it asks for certain uh, selections select one or two you can you no need to manually interact and give that input values you can directly pass from here this is how the sub process p open works there is something also called sub process dot run that we see in the next video thank you for watching